back to my channel today I had, I did this look with some of the new makeup that I have recently gotten I went to Walmart and bought some new foundation you know new powder new eyeliner new lipstick so I had to try it out of course so in this video I will show you all the new items that I did receive or not receive that I did go purchase and um I will try them out and tell you my opinions on them now I will say did not have anything in this video that I did not like. I love all my makeup. I love makeup. Um, none of it tends to disappoint me. But other than that, all the links to everything that I use will be down below. Hope you go and check those out. These are all wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pieces that I picked up. None of this is... Um, I got tongue tied. None of this is sponsored. This is all my own personal opinion. I spent my own personal money. So... I mean, so that you guys can understand that. Got my thought back rolling. So that you guys can understand that I love all each and every one of these items. And I would never lie to you. If I did not like the item, I would tell you. So, without further ado, if you're new here and you just want to wait till the end of the video to subscribe, I'm okay with that. But if not, please hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell to be notified every time that I post a video. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see next. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I haven't even looked in here to see like, well, obviously I know what's in here. But I haven't like tried anything out other than the swatches that I've tried on in the store. So... I'm just going to dig and kind of show y'all what all I got that um, was new. Okay, so I did, as y'all know, I like to use the Wet n Wild foundation. I'm trying to find the one I currently use. Give me one second. Okay, so I already had the Golden Beige in the Wet n Wild. This is what I used during the summer. And then I got the Soft Beige whenever I started getting pale. Well, apparently... Now, this don't even work. Like, I have to drag it all the way down to my neck and then wear a shirt that covers the line because it is just too dark and it doesn't look right. So, I got the shade Nude Ivory. So, I had shade Golden Beige when I was, you know, Sun Goddess. Then I went to Soft Beige whenever the Sun Goddess was leaving me. And now that the Sun Goddess has gone, and it is the middle of December... I am in Nude Ivory. So I got that shade. Hopefully that'll be my right shade. But I did get um, a new foundation while I was there. I was like, let me try a new foundation. I know I love the Wet n Wild, but I don't know if I don't love any other brands out there. So this one kind of caught my eye. It's kind of like a cool little bottle. And it is the Romeo Romeo London. I'm terrible. It's the R-I-M-M-E-L London. It's Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation High Definition Finish Medium Coverage. So, the one I use now... Don't know if they consider it medium coverage or full coverage. I want to say medium coverage. I want to say. But this one kind of looks like the Tarte, like, not the Tarte uh, foundation, but it's got the little spongy thingy on the end, kind of like the Tarte foundation. So, I wanted to try this one. This one's like $6.97, so I'm like, if I don't like it, oh well. And, of course, forgot to take this out, but me and my husband decided that we both have terrible feet. My feet crack bad. I never wear shoes, so... Um, I always have cracks on my feet. I go get my feet done and it's no, like, there's no sense in me going and getting my feet done because I like to walk barefooted. So, we are going to try this. It's called Healthy Feet. It is good for diabetes feet. Um, it's not for diabetes feet, but it's good with people that have diabetes. Um, and it's supposed to make your feet softer in one use. It's exfoliating and moisturizing foot cream is supposed to like um it's for extra dry cracked feet so maybe it'll work and this stuff is seven dollars but maybe it'll work 
Um, so for translucent powder, since my Revlon, I'm starting to see the bottom of it. I was like, let me just go ahead and buy translucent powder while I'm at Walmart. Um, but I didn't want to buy the same one. I'm always up for trying new things, especially when it comes to translucent powder and you can like mix and mingle with it. So I decided that I was going to try the Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder. And it is in this, of course, shade translucent. And I've actually heard really good things since... Sorry, y'all. I had the hiccups. I can't get them rid of them. I mean, they're gone. I don't know. So I've heard really good things about that um, powder. So if you use that powder, please let me know if you like it down below in the comments. Um, then the next thing I started to grab... The only thing, reason I grabbed this one is because it was on sale. So these are originally $7.00. This one was on sale for $3.50. This is the shade Honeyed. Yeah, Honeyed. I think that's in Spanish. Yeah, that's Spanish. Um, I was trying to read the bottom of it, but I think that's Spanish. So this is the shade Honeyed. It is kind of like a light pinkish nude color. It's that color right there. So I was like, mm, need to try that color. Might not work, but I only spent... Um, $3.50 on it. But this one I seen with it. So I'm like, hmm. So this one was $6 and some change. I don't know. This is the shade Forever Fun. I love this lipstick. This lipstick is wonderful. It does last a really good long time. You can drink with it. And I'll kind of show you later. Like, I'll swatch and all that. So the last thing that I decided to try new because my liquid what is it called? My liquid eyeliner is almost out. So I decided to get the e.l.f. eyeliner pen in black. This is what it looks like. Um, honestly, I don't remember how much that was. I think it was like $6. So I'm excited to try that out. And I guess that's about it. So let's get started with the new makeup look. Okay, so this is not new, nor is this from Walmart, but I wanted to try it out anyways, or I wanted to spray my face with it. I've already sprayed it once this morning, but I love this stuff. It feels so great on my skin, so I'm spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. And yes, I probably spray excessive amount, but it feels so great. I'm not mad about it. So I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so I had debated on using Wet n Wild, but I'm like, I use Wet n Wild in every video. So, I am going to use the new Ramel, Ramel, whatever this dang thing's called. Let me put my hair up and I'll be right back. Okay, that looks sloppy, but we're just doing makeup here. We don't care about the hair. Nobody cares about the hair. You know, my dog is passed out in that hallway. Excuse the Christmas stuff sitting right there, but look. <laughs> Drake. You see, B? All right. Now that he's coming to me. I am going to use this thing that's been chewed up by my dogs, but I don't know when I get ever, I have a new beauty blender for proof. I have a new beauty blender, but they're so pretty. Like I just, I don't want to use it. Go away. And I am in, I didn't tell y'all earlier. I am in the shade 101 classic ivory. Oh my God. Boy, that feels great. I just wanna, I don't know, this little spongy thing feels good. I'm probably putting way too much on my face right at this point. It's okay. My toe hurts so bad. I stubbed it and wasn't pretty. We're gonna damp that with that spray just because I like it a lot. And I am going to dab this into my skin. Be right back. Okay, so I almost got it done, but I need a little bit more. And I didn't want to put it on my face without you guys here. So. And I'm actually thinking this is fitting me. I usually don't buy makeup that fits me. Don't know why, but I don't. And I didn't want to just sit there and blend. I mean, you guys know. How I blend my face if you don't, I mean, you just tap that thing until it's done. That sounded terrible. Y'all know what I mean. 
but I am finished now. And so far, let me tap this out a little bit. Sorry, y'all. I made that face at my husband. I don't know what he's staring at. Like, can y'all see him? He's just standing there staring at the thing. I don't know. He's done now. Apparently, he figured it out. No idea. Sorry, I keep moving, y'all. Okay. My nose. It never fails. My nose, my face, everything just starts itching. Like, Kaylee, come on, finish me. All right, so I am using this new contour palette. Excuse this. It is brand new. I haven't used it but one time before, but I dropped it. And there goes that highlighter. It's okay, I don't use highlighter. I wasn't mad about it. So, I am going to contour my face with this new LA Colors Highlight Contour and Blush Kit. It was $10 at the Dollar General. I like a good deal when it comes. Well, hello. Why don't you just call them? That's okay. We don't need you. Um, and just using a little angled brush. Don't know what it's called. Let me just sit here and scratch my nose real quick. Cause that's okay too. Um, I am going to use this lighter shade here. Just kind of contour. I'm actually going to mix. I lied. That's a little too light. Yes, I'm doing this fast. No, I did not just hit the fast forward button. I just like to do it fast. Like, why you gotta be so delicate with everything? Right now, I'm just trying to fast forward to what y'all actually want to see. Let me just get this five head down to a four head real quick. I can't believe I just said that. Sorry, peeps. I'm picking on my own forehead over here. It's okay. If you can't pick on yourself and have a good time. Now, are you really? Okay. I'm going to quit looking at my husband out there because I really feel like he's about to do something that I don't want him to do. And I think he's coming to ask me. But, oh well. So, let me just get this five head down to a four head like I was saying. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, I feel like I have it where I want it, or my face where I want it right now. Yeah, we're good. So, what do I usually do next? I should. So, I am going outside the box today. We're going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette, but we are going to do like a funky little look. Of course. I like funky. So, let me get my brushes together and I've got... Alright, so I am going to use these shades right here. So, at first, I am going to tap into Jada, which is this shade. And this is not doing it any justice. Let's see if I can get this light down here. Can y'all see? It like, this is mint blue turquoise sorry it's a turquoise blue hello come back thank you come on thank you um so i'm gonna tap into that shade and put it like all the way like this i barely tapped into that and y'all see that pigment 
Go Jacqueline Hill, I swear, like, he bombed this palette. This is the only, the, like, the second time I'm using this palette. But, like, it's amazing. It's amazing. I want the James Charles palette so bad. But it's out of stock. you best believe once that palette comes back and stop I'm buying it Yes, I just did duck lips to check my makeup. Everybody's got to do it. Like, you have to do the duck lips. Like, yeah, my makeup looks good. Don't know why, but it's a necessity. Don't know why I keep dipping into the same one. All right, so I'm gonna use this little pointed brush and I am going to dip into the shade. Let's turn you around, Enchanted. Yes, this green shade right here is the shade Enchanted. Can I give it a little smoky look with the blue? Just right here in the corner. You don't wanna take away from the turquoise. Hello, honey. I was closing the wrong guy. That's terrible. Okay, so I know it looks a little rough, but we're just gonna tap into that shade, that turquoise shade and blend it on over. Hello, like, we are like, Heck yeah. Okay. I'm feeling for this look. If y'all hear anything outside, that's my husband. I smell something that smells good right here. It's not the palette. I mean, the palette don't stink, but... All right, so I'm torn. Do I leave it at this? Or do I kinda? Y'all, my hair's falling out of my ponytail in the back. Sorry about that. I think I'm going to settle it on down and use the shade Beam and kind of just mix her own in here. Kind of give it like an ice blue look. And then I'm going to take, I'm getting that color off real quick is and just blend it out. Oh my 
gosh. Okay. This is the look we're going for today. I am living for this. All right, so I'm going to take this cute little marbled brush thing and mix the two the turquoise and the green together. And just go right up under the eyeball. Okay. I am living for this look. Like, I know I've probably said that 500 times. Where'd my hair bow go? Probably down there. It's okay, I got another one. Just took a giant pause. Just because that's our fun. And so I like messy hair. Okay, so I will take this concealer and just roughly, I don't always conceal my face just because it takes time. But I didn't really make a mess with this one. So I'm just gonna kind of dab it right up under it so that it makes sharp lines. Let me see the top. And I'm going to take, now that one I used was the Revlon, no, this is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Ivory. And now I am going to use the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade La Ivory. Like dab it up here so that I can sculpt out my eyebrows and sculpt out the, um, eyeshadow so that looks perfect like that and get them up I forgot what they're called it's okay and voila we have an eye look Okay, so now I am going to do, oh, hello, we have a mirror. Get to check out this eye look a little closer. Man, I did a good job. Okay, um, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me. Yep, forgot what it's called, powder and the elf brush, my powder brush, and just powder my whole entire face. And I'll be okay, this is a great foundation, or powder. My face feels wonderful. It is a matte, matte powder, uh, I can't tell, matte powder. It's actually really great, I'm not gonna lie. I liked it. So now I am opening the hush. My dogs are whining. Don't you knock over my table. Um, I can't get this open. <laughs> I got it. As soon as I like shut y'all off, I got it. <laughs> it was the pressure. So I am going to Let me make way for my dog. Excuse you. Um, I'm sorry, I made a... I don't know, it's like I have to pause talking or I'll mess up. No. For that that was wonderful all right so i am going to do my mascara which i'm using the bad girl bad gal bang by benefit 
mascara, and I am going to put my lashes on, which I am using the Ardell lashes. You can get these at Ulta or Walmart. So the Ardell lashes, and I'll be back. Okay, so since um, I'm re I really don't feel like doing my eyebrows today, so I'm just going to, once it gets tacky, you know it's dry. You just put the chapstick over the, or the chapstick, what I call chapstick, it's like clear. Over it. You wanna see the coolest part? Nothing. I love this stuff. I love it. And this is not sponsored. This is my own personal opinion. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to spray the e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Oh, pfft. That tasted disgusting. Shouldn't open my mouth too soon. All right, and you know, I about spilled that everywhere. Oops, let me just, I've been, I've been upset. So, and to top everything off, probably shouldn't spray it over it, but give us one last mist so that we can go on with our day. And now it looks like I'm sweating. But I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so this is the look that I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Also, if you stuck around this long and you haven't hit that subscribe button down below, you might as well hit it because apparently you enjoyed it. Just kidding. Um, but no, for real, if you stuck around this long, you might as well hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell to be notified every time that I post a video on my channel. So I guess until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. And may God bless you all.